Okay guys, I gotta tell you, I, I finally had to cave in. I had to do it today. I had to put everything aside because I've been feeling very inefficient lately. I've been feel, feeling very sort of clustered in my workspace and enough is enough. And I'm sure I'm not the only one that feels that way. I'm sure there's many of you right now that kind of feels that way. So I wanna show you what I'm dealing with, what I'm going to do. And so let's take care of that. Let's talk about it on the other side. So without any further ado, let's go. So this is what I have going on here. This is my current situation, okay? And as you can see, it's a hot mess. We get in here, it's a battle zone. And I'm sure you're not any different, but I mean, I've got a TV stand right here that's not even really being used. I stored some records there, and then we just got a tub full of clothes. And then you got my TV there, right? And then I got some memorabilia up on the wall, and then I have below that, if I can do a better job with this camera, um, you see my photo station. It gets, this is the vinyl uh, material that I use. And I have it up on the wall, but it gets dirty. You can clean that real easily with just this solution, just like some you know soap water solution. And it kind of goes down to a roll, and there's trash down there I gotta clean up too. And so I can cut it, and see there's, it's already starting to tear there, but I can cut it, um, flip it around if I want, you know, and I may not even use the wall like that, but I just had the backdrop. But I could cut it and flip it over or clean it up when it gets just beyond uh, dirty. And then I have my um, bubble wrap, okay, right there. You see that, the bubble wrap. This is a this dispenser that uh, holds the hold four rolls for the 12 inch rolls. I'm sorry, uh, the 24 inch rolls that is. And then shooting down, you see my little, uh, this is an adjustable desk for my, my laptop and then you know supplies and then we got some more poly bags that are just thrown everywhere so it's a hot mess and I've, of course the walls need to be painted but i'm not even going to mess with that it's just about time that we get in here and we reorganize this hot mess because that's what it is and i have just bought and i'm going to go pick up today uh, a similar one of these kind of adjustable desks like that and we're gonna put it up in place of this table. See, the problem with this photo area is that it's too low and I'm bending over. I like to use the backdrop area where that where the dirty part is. Um, and I'm constantly bending over. When I'm listing you know, dozens of items, after about the fifth or sixth item, my lower back just starts getting angry. And so the idea is to get something that's gonna allow me to lift it, lift up the area a little bit more. I'm also going to try to come back in here and I'm going to take this television and I'm going to put it up where that quiet sign is above that area. Okay. I don't need this stand. This TV is connected to an HDMI cable, which is connected to my, my uh, computer. So I don't need, I only need my extra HDMI cable. Um, that way I can test devices out if I need to, but I could do it over there. I want to take this space get this little TV stand out of the way, maybe use that for storage for poly bags or whatever. Uh, of course, move these clothes and put up a um, little area that I could take photos for clothing. And it's a little hack that I learned a long time ago from Daily Refinement, where you take like a, a, like a, a piece of plywood and uh, make sure it's wide enough and you have some utility cloth that you put on there and it'll hold the garment. So uh, this is a before video. Uh, it's a hot, like I said, a hot mess. We've got boxes thrown everywhere. You know, we, we try a box, it's not the right size. We just throw it down, we move on, right? Um, <clears throat> everything else is going to, for right now is gonna stay the same. The storage area, the, the area we have in here with um, the racks that go for, for uh, days back on the side of the garage. It's doing its job. We just got to do a better job of getting rid of the merchandise that's up in the racks. And I think I might be adding a few more racks for my office. So you'll be seeing that. I might have to do some rearranging uh, of how my my area is set up there and, and add some, some storage space in there. So yeah, so this is what we have going on. I'm sorry I made you dizzy with the bad camera work, but um, hopefully 
um, what you see here next is going to be a huge improvement over what I'm dealing with right now. So let's fast forward. Uh, the video I took earlier was from this morning and we really kind of busted butt, but this is what my vision is and uh, sort of what it became. Now this is not the finished product. Of course, you're looking at boxes of shoes, but I'm going to pan on over. And like I said, I got a mess behind me, but this is, and if we scale it back here so you can see, this is a flat lay area. I ripped this off from uh, Daily Refinement. I tried to do this before and it was a fail. And the reason why it was a fail is because down there I have a rubber mat that's holding this up and I used a much lighter piece of uh, particle board like uh, plywood. I paid $11 for this piece at Home Depot. They cut it for me. Uh, it's a three uh, foot wide by six foot high piece and essentially just leaning against the wall. But um, you get this utility cloth at Joann's fabric store and uh, look at that. That stuff will just flat lay. And now look, I'm not gonna become a clothing seller, okay? I'm not. But, um, whoops, it's starting to fall. But what's cool about this is you can kind of, for most stuff, now if it's really, uh, you know, like the, the material is in such a way where it's like really slick, it may not hold and you might have to do a flat lay another way. Now, that's the first thing I changed. Now, that's where my TV used to be. You guys remember that. And of course, the walls are what they are. Um, of course, I don't own this house. And I think many of you guys know that, that. Uh, I'm renting this particular house, so I'm not gonna get carried away in uh, messing with someone's walls. But this is the desk. Now you guys remember, and I have my have my uh, lights in the way. But this is the desk that I've had before. This is the desk that I picked up last a couple years ago, actually a year and a half ago. And this is a uh, desk that you can move up and down, so I can slide it up and slide it down. Um, I could adjust the height to what I like and if Jenna comes in here and she's doing photos, she can adjust the height to what she likes. Now, you notice it's not white, okay? And I don't know if that's necessarily a bad thing. I use a background removal tool anyway. Um, I was thinking about getting that PVC roll that I usually use and put it on top of this table. I don't think I need to do that. If I'm gonna stick with the background removal tool anyway, um, I can go ahead and just keep it as it is. If I have a white item, an item that's really hard to distinguish with that white PVC, you know what? I could just go with this gray background against the white wall, okay? So we look up here, we still got my bubble wrap dispenser. I'm not moving that, I'm gonna keep it there. Yeah, I guess you could say with the lighting there, computer there, it's gonna be in the way sometimes. But Jenna's good with it, and as long as she's good with it, I'm good with it. And I had that little uh, table that uh, was sort of like my TV stand. Put it there for supplies. And this is the new desk that I picked up. Now, this too maneuvers up and down, has a preset for, you know, if I want, uh, let's say Jenna's one, I'm two. It could set to her height, what she likes. But we've decided that the height we have it at right now is perfect. So we're going to keep it at this height, but it's more of an L shape. We can put the, the laptop right there, the mouse right there. Gives her a little bit more room on the, the, the surface to not only use the scale appropriately, and by the way, that scale is um, on its way out. I've got a new scale coming uh, in two days, and that one, because it's just so inaccurate, it kind of, you put a box on it and it likes to dance. It has a, um, of course, we have the, the weight there but it doesn't like to keep an accurate uh, number so and then of course I move my TV whoops move my TV up here and uh, it, I guess it didn't really matter where I had the TV but you know hey here's the thing you know we talk about having you know distractions and stuff like this nothing better than working in your little area and you got the game on or you're listening to a live stream that's you know an hour or two and it gets you kind of in the zone so um, I had it over by my door and I just tell you the the sound acoustics are better 
where it's at. Yeah, it's a little high, but I'm cool with that. I'm not going to be really watching it anyway. It would be more listening while I work. And of course, we got the poly bags. These poly bags are probably going to go um, down, oops, if I can maneuver this thing properly, down here anyway, um, into this area. Um, I'm gonna let Jenna, since she's doing most of the shipping nowadays, uh, I'm gonna let her decide where she wants to put it. Uh, these boxes were kind of just strewn down there for now. Uh, like I said, I wanted to get this video out, but um, it was getting to the point where we were taking so long um, between getting uh, the fabric, between getting just the, the plywood um, and everything today, and, and this, putting this desk together, this desk was $83. That's all it cost me. And uh, it's uh, the place that I buy my, my uh, liquidation stuff. And uh, this is a $279 desk because uh, of this feature. It moves up and down and you know if you want to. I have it unplugged so that I don't have to. But it's a cool little desk. Um, it certainly is going to fit our needs. You know, before my my photo table was just that one of the pick one of your um, yard sale tables was white folding tables, and it was so low to the ground that it was hurting my back after about 20, 30 pictures. And now it's going to be I'm going to be so much faster at getting these photos done because I have a uh, you know a good quality. Uh, lighted of course it was lighted before but it was just a hot mess before now um, it is a lot better than it was and of course you have this area over here and I'm not a clothing seller I have uh, a couple tubs of clothes that um, I list and you know what? I find items at the yard sale and their deals on clothes I wanted just a decent place where I can quickly do a flat lay and just simply be done with it so and my trout pictures are, are going to be put in the office because they were just in the way when I was doing the photos. So yeah, that's it, guys. That's what I got for you today. That is what I have, and that's kind of my vision for this little area. Uh, it didn't really work out the first time when we set this up. We kind of were just moving in, and we we're dealing with what we had. And I had my desk, but I didn't have a secondary desk for my, um, my photo area. And I, I saw a deal, and I jumped on it. And I said, you know what, I'm going to take, I think I made four listings today. Um, I took really the majority of the day putting these desks together. The one desk is not fun, but uh, it's just something that uh, I figured that I had to get done. And, uh, you know, putting something off like this is probably not the best idea. Um, I want to be more efficient. I want to have more room. I don't want to feel like every time I come in here to work, I'm stepping over things. And aside from these stupid shoes that, not the shoes behind me, but the the two the size two shoes that you guys know I have like 300 pairs of, now it's probably down to about 250 pairs. Um, I have literally two weeks left. So actually not even that, um, a week and uh, a day left. And I'm gonna put these out in the curb for large item pickup. Um, and I don't wanna mess with marketplace. Don't wanna do anything like that. Uh, I simply just want to be done with them. I'm gonna put them on super sale on Poshmark and uh, eBay see how that goes if I get a lot of sales and maybe I'll keep them for a couple more weeks, but um, I just they're in my way I just don't want them here and uh, I'm gonna be starting to move upon things that I just think are just taking up space and don't have the value the return value and I think a lot of people aside from being organized I mean this helps me get organized, but it also is gonna help me be efficient um, I can get in here fast do flat lays uh, if I have clothing I can get my shoes done on this flat table here, get my other hard goods done on this flat table here. And uh, I can do it all while Jenna's doing her thing shipping and I don't have to feel like I'm stepping on her toes. And uh, I think sometimes uh, it's a good idea to evaluate um, maybe what you have going on. Maybe you can look to see where you can get more efficient. This is just one example of what I'm doing. But I wanna know what you think. Um, please comment down below and uh, tell me you think it's better? I mean, I, I think most people would think it's better. What other things, if you had this workspace, and now I'm not talking about the kind of items I'm selling, but if you're selling the same kind of stuff that I'm selling, um, what other things would you do to create more efficiencies um, above and beyond what I've already done? So if you can comment down below, I wanna hear from you. Um, do me a favor, guys. Um, you know. Taking time out of my day to make these videos, it's fun, it's fun, but it does take time. 
And uh, I would appreciate it if you guys just hit that like button for me. Uh, of course, if you like the videos, uh, I think like 60 to 70% who watch this video uh, haven't hit that subscribe button. So if you can subscribe, I'd certainly appreciate it. And of course, that notification bell. Um, you guys know I do lives on Mondays and Fridays and I do videos throughout the week. If you want to be notified when that happens, so it's new news and not old news, hit that notification bell so you could be one of the first ones to know about it. Um, took that poll. Thank you for those of you who actually uh, voted uh, the poll I put out, which was, uh, should I keep the same channel? Could I, should I keep flipping it easy the way it is? Um, maybe just keep the content the way it is, you know, like it's just informative stuff. Um, do you mind if I add uh, my other content in addition to the content that I've had all this time, I'm not going to change the type of content. It's still going to be an informative, informative channel, but I don't, uh, I don't want to scare people off because I put a, a yard sale video here and maybe what I sold, um, you know, for the week, you know, in this video, um, that kind of thing. I, I don't want you guys to feel like, you know, my channel is changing because I still want to deliver the core content. The other option would be to create another channel and put just that yard sale stuff and what sold stuff, um, you know, on another channel. And, you know, I, I feel like, I think most of you guys say that I should make another channel. And that was my first idea, my first thought. But, you know, if it doesn't scare you guys away, if you guys will still stick with me and support the channel, um, and you guys don't mind me adding that type of content, then um, I'm gonna give it a go, Keep it, keeping it on the same channel. And uh, if it bothers you guys, I wanna hear about it, I wanna know about it, and I'll consider if I get enough complaints about, you know, hey, the content's getting kinda wonky, then, um, you know, the consistency in the content that we're used to seeing isn't there, then uh, certainly this is, look, I put this channel together, but it's, it's not my channel, guys. I mean, look, without you, I'd just be some guy that would have hung it up a long time ago because um, just talking into a camera, right? And if I'm not helping anyone, then what's the point in this channel? So this is about you guys, and your input is what I need. So uh, if there's anything I, I've ever asked you guys to do other than hit the like button, and that is just simply give me your input. What do you think about this channel? Um, what ideas do you think I should implement for this channel? Now, of course, I'm not going to act upon every idea, but if I get enough people saying the same thing, I'm certainly going to uh, consider those things. So that's really it for this one. I want to thank you guys for being there for me. Thank you for being at the lives. We had 200 people watching the lives. That's the first time in all the lives we've done that that's actually happened. So I want to thank you guys. And uh, yeah, I'm going to try to come out with more content more frequently. But today, I'm lucky to get this one out because it was, I'm tired, guys. This one was one of those you wake up and you're just running, running, running. And uh, with not even a break, really. Uh, Jen and I went to a, a little dinner for Valentine's Day. And, uh, you know, that was in between running here. And so it wasn't uh, the really kind of a date night that maybe we wanted. But we had one about a week ago. So, you know, if you get old enough, Valentine's Day is just another day, guys. Um, it's not anything special. And I know that some of you, you ladies out there are probably going to just look at me funny for saying that. But from my perspective, uh, I'm almost 50 years old. And um, it's sort of like seeing fireworks for the first time. After the 20th or 30th time, it's the same fireworks. So, yeah. So, thank you guys again for being there for us. Jen and I really, really appreciate each and every one of you. And, uh, you know, we'll probably come out with another video between now and the live on Friday. Uh, so, until then, just know that when you reorganize or make things more efficient, it's a pain in the butt to have to do all these things like putting a desk together and moving furniture and ripping stuff down. But it's yet another example of how sometimes in this business, Flippin' ain't easy, and I want you guys to have an excellent rest of your day, and we will talk to you very soon.